54% uh, of all African Americans live in the Black Belt. 11, 12 states within the U.S., primarily dominated in the South. Um, from a historical context, we went north back in the day, and now we're all, we've all migrated south. So when you think about targeting, when you think about, you know, you're trying to do a deal for a film from a marketing and distribution standpoint, I think those are just some of the key points to, to understand in terms of getting your film to market and getting the right um, dollars as it relates to marketing and producing your film. Fuck it, I'm doing this movie. Doesn't matter what else I do in this lifetime, I'm making the movie about the black lesbians. <laughs> um, I saw that as the best thing, like, but I think you actually have to make it the selling point. Like, what I have is something that very uh, I'm different from everybody else, and that makes my viewpoint different, but that also makes it more original. You have to work harder because it's still primarily dominated by men of a certain color <laughs> and, <laughs> and you just have to get over that. The, who are the companies that are here buying films to take out that are the, the lower budget Hindi films? The majority of them are run by older white guys and so are their marketing departments and so what they think is going to work in the marketplace and what they know how to sell is only that. So that's what they're looking for and anything that's coming from a more diverse background unless it's something they know is like shoot them up action picture or something like that, they see it as something really hard to, to market. I used to be the CEO of the Tribeca Film Institute um, until I started doing my consulting, and we had Tribeca All Access, which is a program specifically to increase diversity. Um, there are very few things like that in the industry that are situated at major festivals like a Sundance um, or a South by Southwest, for example. And so a lot of my friends who are filmmakers who are black are actually not even looking at Sundance as a place to bring their film because they think it's not the place for them, and so they're only looking at things like American Black Film Festival. Well, the problem is, it's not so much where you show your film even, it's where you are developing your career as a filmmaker, because the industry executives you need to meet are at these kind of film festivals. At the end of the day, and, and this, this may be a controversial statement, but I, I believe that it is true, the primary color that matters in Hollywood is green. Um, and if you can show somebody that your movie will make money, uh, be you black, white, green, blue, purple, orange, uh, you will get money to make your movie. I mean, let me interrupt the board. Um, yeah, my name is Kamal Sells. I had a documentary that submitted Sundance. It was officially rejected. So I don't know if you guys heard about that yet. But uh, no, I, I had something to say about the, the real issue, like I said, with the racial thing. It's still, you know, it's just, I think it's pathetic, you know. And I think I might come up with something called pathetic-ology. You know what I mean? Because the, if you look at the numbers, you talk about money. I hear it on the finances. But... James Cameron and people that have opportunity, a white person has opportunity, has access, has resources to actually do something, you know, it makes a huge amount of difference. When you say green, you, you say white, black, you say green. Green is, yeah, the green, that's, that, that is true, but it's how are we going to get to the green? Because as far as, I'm, as far as I know, Bill Gates has like 50 billion um, some of these other people have like in the billions, we're talking about 10 people on Walmart have like bit like 50 billion dollars. The richest black person has like two, two billion, right? Maybe a billion or two billion. But my point is, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we gonna do about that now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause that's, I'm trying, I'm 28, I'm trying to see in my lifetime. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like right now, you know what I'm saying? Cause that, that's, that's what I'm saying with the whole thing about the, the green. <laughs> because the, the money is, 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 like I said, we, and there was one comment I did want to make about her, about the, uh, the thing about the, um, there's a black lady that, that did get a studio, I think, was it Babyface's, uh, why is his, yeah, this first black, uh, you know, I think it's the first official black studio that she worked with somebody, some white guy, I don't know, but <laughs> my point is, like I said, if you ain't white, if you ain't painting your skin white, or anything like that. And black people need to start standing up and saying stuff too. You know, they get mad at Kanye and they say, oh man, you gay fish and all that. But you know what I mean? If you look, I know, it's, it's, I'm, a, I'm, in my, I'm in my own world. But what I'm saying is when you look at, like I said, if you look at the numbers, we're talking about green, look at the numbers. You know what I'm saying? There's just no comparison. We're not, we don't exist. We don't even exist. Um, I mean, look, that's a lot to respond to. Um, Look at, look, at, look at the trajectory of James Cameron's career. 
you know, he dropped out of school, dropped out of college. Uh, James Cameron. Oh, I think Spielberg's yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. And Bill Gates. And, and Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the message is, kids, if you want to be really, really rich, don't graduate college. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, look, he was a model maker, I think, at Corman's studio? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and, and Corman uh, lost a director on one of his movies and he didn't want to meet Galen Hurd went down to the model shop and was like, you, you seem like you know what you're doing. You're going to direct this movie. It was a movie that cost, it was with Piranha. Was that, was that his first film? Yeah, so like no money. He made it for no money. It worked. Make another one for a little more money. It worked. And you keep doing that. And then, you know, you, you give the money to make Titanic. You make the biggest movie of all time. And then you check out for 15 years and you say, you know what, I'm going to spend the next you know, 15 years developing the technology to learn the next movie. And when you do that, you get to make bigger and bigger movies. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's not a right to make a movie. It, it's, it's an earned responsibility. And especially right now, when there, there, there's such high cost to failure, you've got to like make sure that the people that are giving you the money to make it can reasonably secure that they're not going to you know, bear tremendous cost by choosing you over other people. Um, and again, I genuinely don't believe, maybe I'm calling Anna like Susan is, I, I, I don't believe that there's been a single opportunity that I lost because of the color of my skin, but I can name you tons that I've created and been able to create because of the color of my skin. And, and I really think we as a community should start looking at being black, being African American, whatever you want to call it, as a real asset. I mean, we have been historically the definers of that which is cool in America. Black House, uh, Utah, Sundance 2011, Miles Sullivan, so joining venues, you know, I got to speak my mind, I got to do what I need to do, whatever I could do, whatever I can do, so that's, and I appreciate it with that, so we're good with that. Calculator Guys Studio. Yumpy Holy Cinema.